Hi everyone, welcome to yet another new vlog. Hope you all are safe and doing well. It's another beautiful day with beautiful hopes and today I'll be sharing with you few tips how to grow your house plants that is money plants at home and also my simple lunch recipes. Do watch it till the end, you may like it. I made some quail eggs fry, bindi fry and drumstick sambar. Thought of not having non-veg today. We all love our water plants at home. These money plants, they look really beautiful and they spread a lot of positive vibes. But then they grow very slowly. So today I'll be telling you a few tips how to increase their growth faster. As we all know, these eggshells are really rich in minerals and calcium. We will use them as natural fertilizers for our plants. I'll show you what to do with them. So take some eggshells, break them into smaller pieces and keep them aside. Now take a jar, add all these eggshells into that carefully. Now add some water to these eggshells, close the lid and leave it at least for 5 days. Now these eggshells will decompose slowly and all the minerals and calcium will be shifted to this water. Now after 5 days the fertilized water is ready. What we need to do is, we have to empty our water jars half and fill the rest half with this fertilized water. You can repeat the same procedure with all your house plants and you'll definitely see faster growth in very few days. For the morning breakfast, I made some quail eggs fry. I boiled them initially and then later on fried it. I always add little salt while boiling eggs. It helps it not to break. For frying, I used the regular spices. After adding onions, I added some ginger garlic paste, turmeric powder, red chilli powder, coriander powder, salt and mixed it thoroughly. Leave them in the low flame for 5-7 to seven minutes till the eggs absorb all the spices. Then it's ready for serving. There is a saying that one quail egg is equal in nutrients to five chicken eggs and quail eggs are very rich in vitamin B and also they are very good for asthma and cough. So do include quail eggs in your regular diet and also kids will definitely love it. Now to make the bindi fry, I am adding some cumin seeds, mustard seeds and also one dry red chilli. 
Now adding some onions to it and wait till they turn golden brown. After that we can add some ginger garlic paste and also some turmeric powder and red chilli powder to it. I already chopped the bindi so now adding it straight away to the gravy. Some of them what they do is in order to remove the stickiness they fry it initially but the sticky part of the bindi is very good for sharpening the brain especially for kids during their exams. So if your kids are into computers and mathematics don't forget to give them lots and lots of bindi it sharpens their mind and never deep fry bindi because it will lose its essence. They get cooked very faster from 5 to 7 minutes. At the end adding some coriander powder and salt to it. We can garnish it with some coriander leaves and it's ready for serving now. On the other hand I started making this drumstick sambar. For that I cooked the dal separately in pressure cooker. Now preparing these drumsticks. Drumsticks are cooked with ginger garlic paste, sambar masala and hing for 10 minutes. After that adding this dal mixed with tamarind juice to it. Adding some fresh coriander leaves at the end and leaving it for another one or two minutes. This is the regular South Indian way of making the lentil soup. We can add any other vegetables we want to. This was my simple lunch with drumsticks dal, bindi fry and priya lime pickle. Hope you liked watching today's video. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And also don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comment box. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye. See you in another vlog.